Hey everyone, it's Bo from GrowthWise again. Today we're just going to go and have a look at doing an invoice, so just a really simple invoice. Now in Xero there's two different places you can go to get to the invoice screen. So the first is you can click on business and then click on invoices. And then from here you can do a new invoice. Now the easier way is once you log in to Xero, this is normally the screen you'll see, your dashboard. All you need to do is click on the plus button in the top right hand corner. and then you can click on invoice. So it'll take you straight to doing a brand new invoice. Now all we've got to do in here is type in the customer. Date is the date of issue. Due date, you can actually type in things like plus seven if you want a seven day due date, plus 30, plus 45, basically any plus any, any amount of days that you want to add to the invoice. Now reference, this is where you would normally put in, say if you've got a, a purchase order from a corporate customer, that is where you would enter that information because that displays on the invoice that they get. Now, in another video, we'll go through using items and things like that, but for this video, we're just gonna keep it really simple. So we're just gonna type what we did. So labor, quantity of one, and then $150 for that. Then we're gonna say tiles. Now in the demo account, we've only got three different revenue accounts, so sales, other revenue, and interest. So we're just gonna leave it as sales. But what we do recommend doing is actually breaking down your sales based on the activities that you do within your business. So in this example, what we normally prefer is we have a separate account for uh, material sales versus your labor sales. That way when you look at a profit and loss, you'll be able to see the split between the two. So at this point, um, all we need to actually do is just click on approve. That then saves the invoice into zero. It'll then show on all your reports. And from here, you can either email the invoice or you can print it to PDF if you have someone that you unfortunately still need to post things directly to. Email is obviously the preferred thing to do. All you need to do is click on email and then type in the email address and click on send and that will send it to your client. Now, at this screen, if you don't click on this include PDF attachment, what will happen is the client on the other side has to click an online invoice link. And the reason why that's good is because Xero will then show you that the, the person on the other side has actually viewed that invoice. If you do want to include the PDF, all you've got to do is just make sure that box is ticked and then you can click on send and it will send that invoice out. So quite a simple process, um, very easy to do. The other thing that a lot of people um, get caught out with is when you add a contact into Xero, at the screen that we were at before, it doesn't add, it doesn't ask you for an address, but once you've actually saved it into this uh, point here where it's awaiting payment, you can click on add address at this point and then fill in these details here. So once that's filled in, then when you print or email the invoice, it's gonna have the, the address details of your customer already pre-filled and that's what we recommend doing. So there we go. That's all you need to do to do a really basic invoice in Zero. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click on subscribe so that anytime we release a new video, you'll get notified. Cheers.